let's see ECG recording in this ECG recording we are going to see the electrodes placement and we are going to see what we call leads so there are three terms that you have to know before we see ECG recording the first one it is electrocardiograph you wonder what is electrocardiograph actually it is the machine used in ECG recording so it is a machine like this one this is electrocardiograph the second one it is electrocardiogram the first one was electrocardiograph now this one it is electrocardiogram you wonder what is electrocardiogram actually it is the paper of heart tracings or graphs so it is the paper that one that comes out of the ECG machine the paper with heart tracings or graphs that is electrocardiogram and it looks like this one good the third term it is electrocardiography electrocardiography you wanna worry what is electrocardiography you remember the first one was electrocardiograph the second was electrocardiogram this third one it is electrocardiography so this is the whole process of recording the electrical activity of the heart that is electrocardiography the whole process taking the machine using it to record the e ecg that is electrocardiography it's good now you wonder what is ecg for what is it for it is for recording the electrical activity of the heart i'm saying the ecg it is for recording the electrical activity of the heart good please it is not used to record the mechanical activity of the heart such as contraction no but the electrical activities of the heart predict what happens mechanically i think you get it now so guys therefore you need to know the conduction or electrical system of the heart before we see ecg recording this electrical activity of the heart is made up of SA node, you remember AV node, bundle of his, bundle branches, and Parkinger fibers. Good, there are different types of ECG. Like this one, it is fixed. You can find them in the hospital or you can find them in the ambulances. There is another one like this one. It is portable, you see it's very small. You can take it at your patient's home you can move it from one place to another just like that those are some kind of ecg there are other kind of ecg but you should know ecg is not one machine there are so many types of ecg now let's see parts of ecg this is our ecg so these are the electrodes these are the one that placed on the patient's skin here it is the screen below the screen we see the control buttons and there is the printer of ecg and these are the electrode cables The other electrodes are reusable electrodes. You use them more than once. Use them on one patient, you clean them, and then reuse them on another patient. These kinds of electrodes are reusable. Now let's see the electrodes placement, where we place the electrodes. Let's see where we place electrodes on the rims or limb electrodes. The first one, you place it on the right arm, 
then left arm, left foot, and then there is a neutral electrode pressed on the right foot. Now let's see the placement of chest electrodes. The first electrode, it is C1. It is placed at fourth intercostal space. That is the space between the fourth and the fifth lip at the right edge of the sternum. Just at the right edge of the sternum. C2, it is placed at fourth intercostal space, but left edge of the sternum. C4, it is at the fifth intercostal space at the level of midclavicular line. Then C3, it is between C2 and C4. Now C5, it is at the same level as C4 at anterior axilla right. While C6, it is at the same level as C4 and C5 at mid axilla line. Good. So now this is how the electrodes placement looks like on the patient's skin. Let's start with the rims electrodes. The electrodes on the rims. You remember the first electrode it is placed on the right arm. You see it is just above the right wrist joint. The right wrist joint. The second electrode it is placed on the left arm just above the left wrist joint the third electrode it is placed on the left foot it is not exactly on the foot but above the ankle joint just here then there is another electrode it is neutral it is placed on the right foot at the same level as the electrodes on the left foot those are the placements of electrodes for the limbs now let's see for the chest remember the first electrode c1 it is placed at the fourth intercostal space right edge of the sternum the sternum passes at the mid line um, at the median line of the body so here it is the right edge of the sternum so the fourth intercostal space it is at the same level as the nipple good you see at the nipple then c2 they are at the same level as c1 but it is at the left edge of the sternum good c4 it is at the fifth intercostal space you see here it was fourth below here it is fifth intercostal space but at which level we call it at the mid clavicular line this is the clavicle just when you take the midway of the clavicle just in the mid lane of the clavicle you draw it downward it is an marginal line you can't see it that is where you place c4 then c3 it is just placed between c2 and c4 there is no exact location but at the mid distance between C2 and C4. That is where we place C3 electrode. 
Now let's see C5. C5, we say you place it at the same level as C4, but at which position? This is the armpit or the axilla. This is the axilla. The axilla, it is the armpit. Just at the anterior edge of the axilla or anterior axillary line. That is where you place C5. 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 Then C6. You place it at the same level as C5 and C4 but at mid axilla line just at the mid row of the axilla here it was the anterior there should be the posterior then here it is at the mid axilla line or the mid row of the armpit or axilla so that is the position where you place the electrodes on this big diagram you can see it clearly v5 you see anterior axilla line absolutely it is at the edge of the this big muscle on the chest we call it pectoralis major so at its edge or lateral edge that is where you place c1 electrode then at the mid axilla line just in the middle of the axilla that is v6 position i think you see it that is v6 we are going to see what v stand for we have seen c but we're gonna see what v stand for so guys there is something i would like you to know here the ecg has 10 electrodes keep that in your mind but in ecg we get 12 leads then we're gonna see what is the difference between electrodes and leads and how comes that we get 12 leads when we have just 10 electrodes what is the difference between an electrode and a read now let's see Electrode, it's a conductive part attached to the skin in order to do what? In order to record electrical current. That is what electrode is. As a lead, it's just the voltage difference between two points, either two electrodes for what we call bipolar leads all between a virtual point and an electrode that is for unipolar leads so very soon we're gonna see what is bipolar and what is unipolar lead let's see the 12 leads first of all they are six limb leads three which are bipolar in the bipolar we have read one lead two and read three you get it in six limb leads three are bipolar then we're gonna see what are the others and then other three are unipolar leads all named as augmented voltage reads we have AVR, AVLO and AVF. AVR stands for Augmented Voltage Right Arm Read. Then AVLO stands for Augmented Voltage Left Arm Read. Then AVF stands for Augmented Voltage Left Foot Read. Those are three unipolar read. Adding other three bipolar leads, then in the total there are six rim reads. Then we are remaining with other six leads the other six leads are called chest or precordial reads 
those are the ones from the electrode attached to the chest. There is V1, V2, V3, V4, up to V6. Let me explain the reads in details. This is a human being, and this is the heart. Then we start with the, f I mean, three bipolar limb leads. Read one. Read one is from the right arm electrode and the, the left arm electrode. You remember, bipolar reads are the reads between two electrodes. For read one, the right arm electrode is considered as negative, while the left arm electrode is considered as positive. Let's see, read two, or the second bipolar bleed. It m indicates the voltage difference between the right arm electrode and the left foot. That is read two. The right arm electrode is considered as negative, while the left foot electrode is considered as positive. Let's see read three, or the third bipolar bleed. It measures the voltage difference between the left arm and left foot. The left arm is considered as positive, while the left foot is considered as negative. These are three bipolar rim leads. Let's see now three more rim leads, which are unipolar. We start with AVR, also called augmented voltage right arm read. You remember the unipolar leads, they just show the voltage difference between one electrode and another virtual point. Virtual point is like an imaginary point. Here AVR considers the left, I mean the right arm electrode as positive and positive because it's one electrode. But it measures the voltage difference between that right arm and the voltage difference between the left arm and the left foot. You get it. Then let's see AV arrow or augmented voltage left arm. It measures the voltage difference between the left arm and the difference between AVR and AVF, which means right arm and the left foot. And to consider this electrode on the right arm, I mean the left arm, as positive and positive. Let's see AVF. Or augmented voltage left foot read. This indicates the voltage difference between the left foot electrode and the another imaginary point between the left arm and the right arm. And it considers this electrode on the left foot as positive and positive. So guys, in summary, this is how the rims leads all. Remember, you cannot see these leads. It's the ECG machine itself that shows you the reads. You you just place the electrode. That is your own your only work to do. Let us see six chest or precordial reads. We start from read one, which is called V1. Then there is V2. V3, V4, V5, and V6. They are unipolar leads as well because they measure the voltage difference between one electrode and another virtual or imaginary point. Here, each lead measures the voltage difference between its corresponding electrode and the voltage difference between the remaining reads, the remaining five reads. Let's take an example. V1 read just measure the voltage difference between C1 electrode and the voltage difference between the remaining five reads, V2, V3, V4, V5, and V6. And the center of all remaining chest read is called Wilson's Central Terminal. Good. 
and these are six chest or precordial ribs so guys you cannot see the leads physically you only see them on electrocardiogram or ECG paper when it is printed out so it will look like this here is lead one all first bipolar rim bleed then lead two second bipolar rim bleed read three or third bipolar limb read then we see death are three unipolar limb leads there is AVR all augmented voltage right arm AVLO augmented voltage read on the left arm then AVF augmented voltage left foot read then we're gonna see six more reads those are the precordial all chest reads there is V1 or first chest read V2 V3 V4 V5 and V6 you see these are 12 ECG reads thank you very much for watching the video I hope you enjoy it and please rate the video share it to your colleagues and don't forget to place subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed may God bless you see you in another video next time thank you very much don't forget to place like subscribe and the bell